Hello, this is Lisa from LisaMHaze.com. That's Luna back there. I've got like four other dogs wandering through here. Any dog distraction that might come around, just ignore that. I'm hypnotizing you. You don't see it. Because I want to talk to you about something that I think is important today. It's one of the most effective and yet counterintuitive strategies for being happy that I know of. And I'm sharing it because I think the effectiveness of this is like off the charts. Kind of hard because it's counterintuitive. But first, let's talk just a little bit about the problem. The challenge that most of us face, and if you follow my work at all, watched any of these videos recently, you know I've been talking about this a lot. But the challenge that most of us face is a willingness to be visible, a willingness to be vulnerable, a willingness to be seen, a willingness to like override our human instinct to want to fit in so badly. And we do. That's, that drives like so much of our behavior all the time. We want to fit in. We want to be liked. We want to get approval. We want to be noticed. We're really kind of like walking, talking approval addicts in a lot of way. There's like something about external approval that we think is going to make us feel better and that doesn't work. It's like the empty calories. It's the sugar of human interaction, right? Like you're getting it and it feels good in the moment, but it doesn't really do anything for you. Our desire to be liked is strong. It's powerful, but you can override it. And I can tell you why that's important because our desire to be liked, that deep driving desire, causes us to filter ourselves, to water ourselves down, to try and fit into little boxes that we don't really fit into and meet other people's expectations so that they will appreciate us or be appropriate in ways that makes us kind of disappear into the background because we're not showing up as ourselves. So the tip here is, get ready, Pretend like everybody doesn't like you to start with. Just set out and be like, yeah, they're probably not gonna like me. They're probably actually going to think I'm strange. They might think I'm radical. They might not like my approach. They might even really be turned off by me. I'm probably not gonna be liked here. And then I'm gonna show up anyway. And when you do that, when you embrace, not just accept, but actually embrace that possibility that you might not be liked, you free yourself up to actually show up as you, to be you without a filter, to be you without a box, to be you without somebody else's expectations in play. The ability to embrace the likelihood of being disliked sets you free. And the strange dichotomy of that is that it makes you super, super attractive. I mean, you're not gonna show up and be like intentionally confronting and difficult so that you can be disliked. You're not gonna show up and be like garish and difficult, but you show up like unburdened by other people's expectations or what you think other people's expectations of you are. And you can shine gloriously, right, without, hinging those interactions on trying to be liked or trying to be approved of. Now from an LOA standpoint, I mean it's a little tricky, right? We're not setting out with an intention of being disliked. What we're doing is setting out with an intention of showing up 100% authentic, 100% on point, 100% being you, kind of your own label of greatness. And the miracle of that is not everybody's gonna like it. That's the truth. But a lot of people will. And the people who do see you and that are drawn to you and that are resonate with you being you, that's like the kind of connection that isn't the empty calories of human interaction. Like those are the kinds of connections that grow and strengthen and nurture us. So I would encourage you to play with this a little bit. Like, again, I know you're not gonna go out and be like an intentional asshole so that people won't like you. That's not the point here. But I think that there's a tremendous amount of power and possibility in embracing the concept that you don't need to be liked and that people actually might not like you. Start out the game, like free from all of that, just being you. Play with it for a few days, for a few weeks, maybe forever. And I have a very strong suspicion it's gonna set you free.
Big love to you. Okay, I'm gonna see something cute. Look. It's tulip. And wait. I'm gonna see something else. Oh, look. Love you guys.